Welcome back to Switchback Outdoors. This is the Icon Tour of the Species. We are once again back in the backcountry of Idaho chasing mule deer. Another great episode for you guys. Can't thank you guys enough for the comments and everything on the previous episode of Brody's Mule Deer. Um, I had him go through and read some of those, so you guys are awesome. Really appreciate that. I'm going to jump in and announce the winner of the last episode's giveaway, which was for the Stone Glacier Helio hoodie. So all you had to do on that was leave a comment down below. And the winner of that is... Jace McFederich. Jace, shoot us an email, switchback outdoors TV at Gmail. We'll get that Helio hoodie headed your way. Um, the winner of the screenshot competition this week is Hushlife777. Shoot us an email, switchback outdoors TV at Gmail. We'll get that prize package headed your way. On this episode, we are giving away a phone scope package, which is a phone scope case of your choice, um, some pyro putty stuff. So, you guys are going to want to definitely leave a comment in the description below, especially if you've got a new phone. This is going to be a great way to get yourself a new phone scope. Um, so leave us a comment and uh, you're entered to win for the phone scope package. Also, the screenshot contest, like I've said before, if you're watching this on your phone, screenshot it. Tag us on social media with the hashtag switchback screenshot and you're entered to win that. There hasn't been, well, there's been enough of those going around, but... If you guys aren't doing this, it's a great way to win some prizes. So we get a lot of the same people, which is awesome. We really enjoy seeing that. We'd love to see some new people doing the screenshot contest. Um, the link is in the description below to get entered to win that cross, the 308 with the BDX system. Uh, such an amazing package. Can't thank Sig Sauer enough for all their support on this. And so if you haven't clicked that link, click that link and get entered to win for that Sig Cross 308. Like I said before, we're back in the backcountry, one of my favorite hunts of the year. Um, thank you guys so much for all your support. Can't Honestly, can't thank you guys enough. If you haven't hit subscribe, please hit subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything and it helps us out a ton. And if you are subscribed and haven't hit that alert bell, please hit that alert bell. That way you know when the videos are coming out. Um, but I'm going to let this episode roll. This is the last episode of the backcountry. we got some really cool stuff coming in the next couple episodes. Steven's video is coming up here pretty quick, and they take two bucks in a day. So thank you guys so much, and here is the backcountry. Our second full day in here we worked way up on this big ridge and uh, weather's been kind of crappy this morning rain and wind and all we've seen is some does so far but we got kind of got settled up on these rocks Brody's tucked way back in there we're gonna make some breakfast and some hot chocolate and we can blast all of this country in front of us we just kind of came up that ridge a little farther like Brody we can see where Brody was when he shot his deer. And his deer was just down at the bottom. So whenever this wind kind of lets up and the sun comes out and we dry out a little bit, we're gonna sneak over this backside. See if we can find anything on that backside back in some of that burnt timber. But right now it's beautiful. This morning it was not that great. Lots of it was it really wasn't even raining hard. It wasn't socked in hard, but it was getting everything wet. So we're going to make some breakfast real quick and do some glassing and see what we can find.
See if that's gonna get you falling down. We're gonna go down and take care of the horses, get them hobbled up and let them graze for a while. And then uh, Bobby and the rest of the group should be coming in. Well, probably an hour, we don't know exactly sure what time. But we're we're in charge of dinner for everyone tonight. So we're gonna get down there and make sure dinner's ready. And got a spot cleared out for their tent and everything for when they get in here. But we're gonna get the horses. They've been tied up all day. We're gonna head back down there and get them hobbled up. And then the coolest thing about this place I've said it so many times before is you can glass right from camp and so like that little buck about the same time as Brody's was 200 yards away from camp 300 yards away bedded down so there's usually quite a few deer we can glass we can glass some of these bigger mountains around so if we see anything big enough we can get on it in a hurry if we need to but it's nice down here in the bottom is the wind there's no wind up top was just brutal so, well, it's kind of crazy. We saw a ton of deer today, but no bucks, which is kind of surprising. But lots of different kinds of weather. And rain, wind, to just wind, to sunny, to more wind. But we're gonna go take care of horses. Brody's going, we'll see if we can get him falling. Oh. I think I got him falling there a little bit. You doing all right, Brody? Yeah. What'd you think of today? Slow. Slow? Yeah. No bucks. Are you happy you shot the one you did? Yeah. Good call. Huh? Alright, we're signing out for the night. We got everyone in here. Had a great dinner. We got two big Faro teepees in here. Trent's got a 12 man. We've got an 8 man. So we're, we're set up. But we're going to get ready for bed. And uh, make a game plan for tomorrow. I'm gonna go kill some bucks. So, this is it for tonight. It is the morning of the third full day in here. And it's raining a little bit right now. So we're gonna let this one pass over a little bit. We, Dad woke up and fed the horses and so we're gonna tie them up a little tighter and then we'll take off and do a hunt. But getting Brody some hot chocolate and letting this storm pass real quick. And then we'll Man, there's his cup right there. We were looking for Brody's cup and we found it. The last place we looked. So, I'm gonna get some breakfast, some some hot to drink, and then make a game plan with everyone else, and then we'll hit it. And scatter to the country, see what else we can find. <coughs> what are you eating? I got Grandma cinnamon rolls are amazing. She makes them special for you. you Lucky kid. The rain has left. We've got a three point buck spotted right above camp. We've got some does spotted up here. So animals are starting to move. We've got fresh snow up on the tall mountains around here. So, it's, like I said, you sit here in camp and you can spot just as many game as out hunting. So, the three points only. Let's see how far away he is. 556 yards right now. You could sneak up to this little knob right here and have 300 yards. So, see if we can talk someone into shooting. Wade's like pumped up. He's like, I gotta go shoot it. Now that it's light, too, we need to do introductions. It was too late last night. We got the Bobby Christensen, Hunter Extraordinaire. The three point? 
We've got Quaid. We've got Trenton here getting his Kafaru stove set up. Hey guys. And we've got Jacob. <laughs> you already know this guy. We're talking training horses. Oh. Jacob had to train horses on the way up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we are heading up after this three point we spotted this morning. Bobby's youngest son, Quaid, just a little older than Brody, decided he wants to shoot it. So we're going to sneak up this knob and uh, see how close we can get. Get the phone scope on it. See if we can get you guys another kill shot. But after the rain stopped, it turned into be a beautiful morning. So we can get this buck on the ground. You ready? point relocated he's bedded down about 436 yards we're gonna sneak up one more knob see if we can see if he'll stand up give him a shot or see if we'll be able to get a shot up here but pretty cool buck all I can see is I got some really good phone scope of him with his head just poking up pretty fun morning There's a log sticking up. Like busted off log. You busted see that busted off log? It's kind of orange in color. Is he to the left or the right? He's to the, He's right. To the right, right yeah. behind the tree that's upright. Okay, too far the right, right. No, come back a little bit. Come back. Right there. You should be able to see him right there. See you should be able to orange. see his head only. He's coming towards us though. Right there, buddy. Smoked him. Dude, well, keep on him. Keep on him. I look like you hit him. Yeah, I see a bullet hole. See him? Yeah, he's hit. Get on him, though. He's not acting. Yeah, he's still alive, though. We'll give him some time. Hey, how do you feel? I feel awesome. I feel feel very happy. Hey, Quaid, yeah? was it loud? No. <laughs> I hate you all. That's yeah. nice. You hit it right, right behind the shoulder, just like you showed you. I saw it. You saw it? I was good. I saw him stop. I'm like, I got him right there. Hey, you did awesome. He got up and you had to adjust. That was awesome, buddy. I, I saw him go and I was just like, good. he stopped for one second. I'm like, this like, is oh, my shot. And I just pulled it. He did. That was... I'm glad I turned. I heard it. Yeah, I could hear him hit. That's what I could hear more than anything. Dude, I can hear him. I got him in the spot, Dad. I was just sitting there and I just saw him and I was like, right there, right there. Boom. I'm glad I turned my turret back to zero. Yeah. <laughs> right when he got up, he started bounding. I was like... <laughs> yep, and I got him. So let's go get my bag and let's go get me buck. And we all gotta see it, dude. Dude, it's gonna be all you're gonna be you're gonna be famous. I can actually post that on YouTube. You got the Icon Tour hat on. Mm -hmm. I got the I got the famous hat from the famous person. Mm -hmm. Don't know about that. Dude, you're awesome. Yeah. Dude, I'm so excited. I still can't process it. Like I can't process it. Dude, that's it. your first deer. That's awesome, buddy. I know. I just can't process it. That was like one of the 
That was a fun hunt. Dude, I was just, I just saw it coming down. I'm like, okay, oh, yeah. okay, please. How you feel? I feel awesome. You probably got it. Yeah. Drag it down. I gotta take my bag off. I'm surprised it didn't. Your first off. deer. Uh-huh. Ready to get it? Yep. We gotta set up. Did you show him the spot? Yeah, we'll get to set up and get some good pictures. I got I'm, right I'm kind of a picture Nazi. That's true. <laughs> he is. So. We gotta get photos with it before I get it. Put your hand under your chin, like this. Have you ever seen Napoleon Dynamite? Yeah. Do like do the Uncle Rico. Like this. All right, he kind of turns his head sideways. And look at me. Oh, these are going to be really good. These are really nice. I think these are going to be really nice. <laughs> Keep going around. It's meat, sir. Yep. Try to get it out of there. All the deer and they're going to like... gotta separate it. Yeah. I just heard laughing. Sometimes all day. I have to go like this. I love laughing. You got to be careful, though, because when you do that, you don't want to be cutting the. And then you got to try to dig it out of there. Hey, your you're lucky. This is way it. better than having to reach all the way in and gutting it. Yeah, normally you're about elbow deep up in the chest cavity, pulling everything cool. out. Keegan. I'm Dude, like, I Dude, you gotta do it. Okay. I enjoyed <laughs> that way too much. What? I enjoyed you that way too much. Fuck, Keegan, like. I know. Like, oh, oh, who's funny. manly now, Keegan? <laughs> get He's in 13. There. Get in there. Keegan was so excited when he shot his buck though. Come on, Quaid, get in there. Quaid, you know the greatest thing about life? What? You know the greatest what? thing about life? What? It's brand new experiences. Yep. You're getting a brand new experience right here that you'll be able to tell your kids about when you bring weird. them up here. All right, oh, uh, so I need to get under it, right? We just got back to camp. We've packed a couple quarters down from Quaid's buck and then we're gonna get ready to go. See if we can get Dad a buck tonight. We're gonna head up the trail and make a big loop around. So we're gonna get ready, get packs all squared away. But that was pretty cool. That was Quade's first buck. Made a good shot, so it's a fun morning. But we still got time to go get something else done. Go find something. Just came over on a really good draw and uh, saw four does. So the plan is this ridge behind us, behind Trent there, Trent's gonna go along this back side through some old burnt standing timber and we're gonna go on this front side and then we'll meet at a big rock over there. See if we can't push anything back and forth to each other. So hopefully kind of disappointing this spot usually holds some bucks and four does was all so the rain's my stuff in here there should have been there really should have been I still can't believe there's not but you know it's about five o'clock I got a couple more hours of light left probably a little less with this cloud cover and uh, so we're gonna make a push and see what we can find yeah. hopefully find a buck here pretty quick last evening in here and uh, made a huge hunt this evening after Quaid shot his buck and kind of just got going because the rain looked all the way up the, the main saddle looped all around the back side and then Trent split he headed back down to camp we decided to hunt along this back side through this burnt timber and uh, seen some does but that's it so I think we're gonna the weather's supposed to break tomorrow there's two. Don't want to fawn. The weather's supposed to break tomorrow and be sunny. So I think we're gonna take we're gonna take the opportunity to get out of here when it's not raining. So we're gonna kinda still on our way all the way back to camp. See what we can find. It's been a good day, but we're having a heck of a time finding bucks. Fun? Yeah. How much fun? We're not seeing that many bucks having fun. No. <laughs> when 
we are on the home stretch. We got about two miles back to the truck and uh, have made really good time getting out of here. But another su successful trip. Got two bucks. A little tougher this year than normal. Normally we can find you know, a little nicer bucks. But saw lots of deer, so just couldn't find the bucks. We kind of had a shorter time than we'd like to. And normally we'd like to go at the end of the season, and we we're kind of right in the middle. But pretty good, and Brody. Where are you at? There he is. Mm -hmm. You happy with your buck? Yeah. Yeah. What'd you think of the trip? It was really fun. Yeah. So, man, thank you guys so much for watching. This is the Icon Tour of the Species. For this hunt, the backcountry mule deer hunt is a wrap. Can't thank Dad enough for all he does with the horses and bringing us in here. And uh, we had a good trip. Rained a lot yesterday, but all in all, successful. No one got hurt, no one got sick. Like I said, we're two miles away from the truck. So we will see you guys in the next video.